dear all in this video we will discuss about the definition of remote sensing workflow of remote sensing and gis process and components of remote sensing before starting the video i would like to notice you to watch the video minutely for better understanding so that at the end of this video you will be able to answer all the quiz question correctly the link of the quiz form has been given in the description drop down menu thanks to all for subscribe the channel and watching other videos in this channel please subscribe the channel if yet not subscribed share it to the concern learner groups i will eagerly wait for your comments don't forget to put a like in this channel energy interaction with the target in workflow of remote sensing and gis interaction with the target after passing through the atmosphere the energy interacts with the target the energy interacts depending on the characteristics of both the target and energy radiant flux as per the definition of b vorto from remote sensing and gis books the amount of radiant energy on to off of or through a surface per unit time is called radiant flux and is measured in watts in radiation budget equation the total amount of radiant flux in specific wavelength incident to the target is equal to the amount of energy reflected from the surface the amount of energy absorbed by the surface and the amount of energy transmitted through the surface the equation is phi t lambda is equal to r lambda plus a lambda plus t lambda where phi t lambda is equal to total amount of radiant flux lambda is equal to specific wavelength r lambda equal to amount of energy trans reflected from the surface a lambda is equal to amount of energy absorbed by the surface t lambda is equal to amount of energy transmitted through the surface how much percentage of energy an object reflects at a specific wavelength is measured by spectral reflectance curve spectral reflectance curve is the graphical representation of relation of the relationship in the electromagnetic spectrum with reflectance amount in percent for any object on the ground here the spectral reflectance curve
interaction with the atmosphere again in the workflow of remote sensing and GIS. Interaction with atmosphere again reflected or emitted radiant flux from the target object on the earth's surface once again enter into the atmosphere. It interact with the atmospheric gases vapor and aerosol or SPM suspended particulates matter. Hence here also absorption, reflection and refraction influence the radiant flux before the energy is recorded by the sensor of the remote sensing platform. Recording of energy by the sensor. The sensor on the remote sensing platform records the retreating electromagnetic radiation. The radiant flux which scattered or emitted from the target influenced by the interaction with the atmosphere. The amount of energy received by the sensor depends upon the location and operational system of that of that particular sensor. The sensor received additional energy due to the atmospheric interaction of returned energy from the target and path radiance. In the other word, the path radiance introduce unwanted radiometric noise in the sensor. Path radiance occur due to the diffused sky irradiance and reflectance from the neighboring area of the target object. We can formulate it as follows. PR is equal to SR plus NR where PR is equal to path radiance. SR is equal to diffused sky irradiance, NR is equal to reflectance from the neighboring area of the target. In the second equation, T lambda is equal to TR plus PR, where T lambda is equal to total energy received by the sensor, TR is equal to energy received from the target, PR is equal to energy received from the path radiance. Transmission, reception and processing in workflow of remote sensing and GIS. Transmission, reception and processing. The sensor transmitted the received energy to the receiving and processing station in the form of electronic energy. After receiving the data, the ground receiving station GRS process processes the electronic energy into a into an image as in hard copy and or in digital form. The data can be directly transmitted to the GRS if it is in the line of sight of the satellite. In the other case, data can be recorded on board satellite for transmission to the GRS after a suitable time through the tracking and data relay satellite system 
TDRSS. The TDRSS consists of a series of communication satellite in geosynchronous orbit. We will learn about the different orbit in next video. Indian Space Research Organization ISRO operates the ground receiving station GRS at Shadnagar near the Hyderabad in Andhra Pradesh. It covers all of India and about nine neighboring countries. Interpretation, analysis and application in the workflow of remote sensing and GIS. The processed image is interpreted visually or analog or digitally or DIP, digital image processing method to extract the information about the target. The most important elements of the visual image interpretation are size, shape, shadow, tone or color, texture, pattern, parallax, sight and association etc. The outcome of the processes influenced by human skill and error as it is a mixture of art and science. Digital image processing follows the most scientific algorithm to interpret the anal and analysis of the image. The accuracy of the result influenced by the spatial resolution of the image, IRS pan data is often used for interpretation in different project. QuickBird are also the high resolution image presently used for DIP. The user segment use the remote sensing process in a different manner. The researcher, administrator and the planners use the information extracted from the imagery in solving the particular problem. General civilians and defense units also use the information in their specific fields. Components of remote sensing. There are main two components of remote sensing. One is platform and two is sensor. Platform is the vehicles which carries a sensor such as satellite, aircraft, balloon, drone and ground vehicles. Here are the different type, types of platform presented in the picture. Some are high altitude and some are low altitudinal platform. The high altitudinal platforms are satellite aircraft and the low altitudinal platforms are balloon, drone and ground vehicles. Sensor. It is the device which received electromagnetic radiation and converts it into a signal that can be recorded and displayed as either numerical data or an image. One platform can carry one or more than one sensor. One sensor platform, the platform Landsat TM carries thematic mapper 
passive optical sensor. More than on sensor, the platform ALOS carries three different sensor there. One prisms, passive optical, to AVNIR2, this is also passive optical sensor and three pulsar active microwave sensor. Here is a sensor KOMP SAT3 satellite sensor which spectral resolution 0.7 meter. It is launched by Japan May 17, 2012. Upcoming next video, types of remote sensing satellite and sensor.